Welcome to my Shift Setup. This is the show where I get to talk to users who customize Shift in their own very special ways. My name is Michael Fouché, and I'm the VP of product here at Shift. Shift is a browser that allows you to add apps and spaces, as well as customize it in any way you want. I'm excited to talk to our two new guests, so let's get going. Today, I wanna welcome two students who are both developers and are using Shift in their day-to-day -day work. Andrew, let's start with you. Tell us about how you use Shift. I'm what they call a chronic like tab hoarder. So my top bar is consistently and always completely fully populated. And uh, I prefer to have a very simple like browsing experience. So to try to manage, balance those two factors, I like to like design my own like interface. Why don't you show us your Shift setup? Yeah, so as a developer, I want to maximize like the kind of like vertical screen space I can have, which is like something that Shift lets me do, right? I can eliminate all the stuff that's like um, at the top of my page. So you can see, for example, like all my um, spaces here don't have um, like bookmarks or tabs on the top. I've moved them all to the left for like two main reasons. One, because I can have, yeah, as I mentioned, more vertical screen space. And B, so when I have a bunch of tabs open, I can still read what the contents of each one are when they're like stacked on the left here. For me, I mainly have four spaces that I pop around with. So I have my general home space where I just do like miscellaneous tasks and whatnot. Obviously I have one for like school and then where I keep all of my uh, notes or like canvas or anything to do really with coursework um, consolidated here. And I have two other spaces where one I have for like the stuff I do outside of school, well, one's more just for projects. And the other one is for a team I'm a member of. Well, it looks like you are geared up for both work and school here. So speaking of another student, I think we should talk to Georgia and tell us how you're using Shift. Okay, sweet. Here is my Shift setup to start. Right now you will see we're in my current work developer space my little computer as my shift icon um i want to find some cool icons because you can actually upload a file for any of your spaces which makes shift really cool and customizable in my workspace i've got apps like github and jira mix panel all what i use in a daily day of work i've got my google calendar right up here as well and this is logged into my work account Whereas let's shift over to my personal account, but you'll see and notice that my home tab page, when I go click this fun little icon that I added here is actually chat GPT. And I was able to customize that and advanced settings. So if you go to advanced settings and to appearance, you can actually add any URL that you would like to be your home tab page. And I noticed that a lot of the times I go to search, I end up going to chat GPT anyways for all of my school questions and it's really nice that it could just be my home tab page as a student who's juggling six different courses my browser needs to be something that can be very easy to navigate very clean i only usually bring a 13 inch screen computer to school so having one browser that i can have open and that's all i need for the entire day to not be switching between different apps is pretty awesome um yeah, in my school, I've got an app for Brightswage. I can go and write my notes in Shift and can have multiple different email apps, which is really sweet. Um, when I'm in school, like since I was a kid, I always like to have my desk very organized, like clean, no clutter. And I think now as we shifted on to, you know, being on screens all the time for what we do in school, like why shouldn't it be the same for your browser? And I think that's exactly what Shift shift does so you don't have a billion tabs all over the place or trying to keep them sorted using tab grouping you just have your spaces your apps and everything is clean and that's one last thing you have to worry about in your day-to-day -day. and i'm curious you have a unique layout where your spaces mm -hmm. and your apps are down at the bottom so why yeah. did you use that configuration I kind of liked it because i don't feel like it's um you know getting in the way of anything that i'd be viewing on the web and it's just something very sleek and tied to the bottom close to like the toolbar. So it's very like similar flow to how you would go navigate between different applications you have on your computer, but it's just all within shift. So I felt it was the most efficient, like similar flow for me, but that's a bit 
what makes Shift cool is everyone has a different way that they would maybe want to navigate their browser, and it's all up to you. And, you know, this is a question that maybe I'll ask to both of you. Like, what for you, Georgia, what's the one Shift feature that you think is underrated or people should know about? Yeah, I think a super cool thing that Shift does is the carbon meter. I think that was something that totally stood out to me, especially going to UVic, where we're very much focused on, you know, having a good climate impact and staying green. And I don't think we realize how much our browsing does in terms of carbon emissions. And this carbon meter kind of allows you to be aware of your impact. But the cool thing is then shift will offset that so you can feel a little bit better about what you're doing because we don't really have the choice as students to not use browsing this is what we do every day um, but you can rest easy that you're making a good impact still by choosing to use shift yeah i think one thing that uh has we found out through this journey of adding carbon browsing is that the computer industry and the internet as a whole creates as much carbon as the whole airline industry worldwide and yeah and with the growth of ai and the massive growth in data centers they've had to create in order to support that this is i'm assuming only going to become more and more of an issue and a challenge for everyone yeah i'm very proud that shift is offsetting um everyone's carbon usage when they use our browser yeah it's pretty special so i'm grateful that i can go day to day and still get through my degree and use all these cool tools and not feel like I'm being a, a climate criminal. So that's really wonderful. Um, Andrew, I've asked Georgia what her highest underrated feature of Shift is. Do you want to, I know that you have one that you want to show. So I think my most used underrated feature is like more shortcuts, specifically the ability to like switch through in between spaces really quickly. So you can't really see my keyboard right now, but I can hit control alt and then like square bracket or left square bracket to like really quickly jump forward and backwards between all my spaces. That's super nice, especially like if I'm working with a bunch of like documents and I want to be able to type in one and copy text to the other, or like I'm reviewing code on one space, then comparing it with code on another space. It really helps me switch between like workflows really quickly. But yeah, that's probably my favorite underrated feature that I probably take advantage of the most. Well, you know, I want to thank both of you today for sharing your setups. I Hopefully you share to your friends at school this very cool product and, and uh, maybe we get more people in, in the universities using it. That'll be very mm -hmm. exciting. Absolutely. Thanks for having us, Mike. Thank you. You're for welcome. Us.